Hello again, in this video I'm going to talk to you about research, i.e. not just turning up on a site and flailing away blindly. Uh, this advice pretty much relates to pasture land, although some of it obviously will apply to ploughed as well. First thing to do is type the name of wherever you're going or a very nearby village into Google see what comes up. It's quite often parish records, uh, census telling you how many people used to live there, old maps showing you old features that now are no longer there. Um, another thing, find out where the footpaths are. A lot of the time footpaths, especially in England, have been used for hundreds, possibly thousands of years. There'll have been loads of people on those footpaths over the years. They're bound to have dropped something at some point. So find out where they are chances are you'll find something. I was on a dig not so long ago uh, with the lads from the club and really the only finds that came out of a field were from the path of an old footpath. Nothing else came out of the field even though it looked very likely. I've got to say I found nothing because I just charged off. I didn't take my own advice which was a bit silly. I could have found the coins you know. When you're actually at the site take a look at the land. We've got an area behind me here whether you can see it. Uh, where are we? There. It's a flat piece of land just here in an otherwise hilly area. Possibly a house there at some point, you never know. No records of a house ever being there. But there's also a channel as well which runs down near the possible site for the house. Channel could have been an ancient source of water, you never know. I have actually detected that and I've just found huge lumps of iron, um, almost like the bars of a jail, there was, the iron was so big, um, possibly could have been an old jail, you never know, but I certainly haven't found anything good there, but that, I thought that was a good place to look. Even just in this field, there is some pretty obvious places. Down here, where the cows are, we've got a gateway, just zoom in there, let you have a look. It's got a modern post, well I say modern, you know, probably middle of last century post there, but it's got a gate post just behind where the gate fastens, stone which is ancient. It's on the site of an old Roman road which went from roughly over there, there was a ford which came along here through where the modern day gate is, up this fairly steep bank side and through the gap in the trees here. See how the ground slopes down? It's where the old road went. Got to say I haven't uh, actually found any Roman stuff there, but because there's a good possibility that this gateway had been used for hundreds of years before the modern day bridge got built, i.e. when there was still a ford on the river, you can imagine people coming across this field up the steep bank side, primarily on horses, Horses seeing a rabbit or hare or something, freaking out, tipping people off the horses. I've found coins all over this steep bank side, ranging from middle of last century back to Georgian. Um, on the other side of the gate is a lovely flat field. You can imagine the Romans heading south to north, up to Hadrian's Wall, possibly camping there. I have found Roman coins in the front field. It's only been turned over once in living memory. So really old stuff won't be brought to the top, but there will be a lot more in that field. Even just in this one field, there are other things, other features where I found coins. I found Georgian coins right over there. I was kind of imagining people coming through this modern day gateway up the steep bank side, heading up the side of the wood towards the modern day village at the top there and came across a single gate post, stone again, really ancient one and around the gate post I found quite a few Georgian coins in pretty terrible nick has to be said. Also 
telegraph poles. When people put telegraph poles in, they sink them very, very deep, dig quite a deep hole. That often brings stuff around uh, up to the top, so it's worth detecting around them. Big old trees in the middle of a field. This is actually on a, on a hedge line, but that was in the middle of a field, you'd think, well, you know. People coming up here on the horses years ago. Might have stopped the shelter under there if it started um, raining. That tree's probably not old enough for that, but you know, you get the idea. Also, sources of water. This is a reasonably modern source of water, but you see the old stone gate post there? There's either been a track from field to field, or there's been some sort of water there for many, many years. Below there, on this reasonably flat piece of land, between the water source and the gate, I found quite a few coins down there, Victorian and again a few Georgian things. Not in very good nick, but you can imagine people coming through that gate and allowing the horses to get a drink here years ago. So there is hot spots, even in a seemingly featureless field. The byproduct of detecting in pasture land, especially in late summer, early autumn, is you get your breakfast as well. Obviously, if you're out on a dig, you've got to eat it raw, but uh, still tastes pretty good.